Hello YouTube and fellow sports cards collectors, this is Eric J and welcome to the channel. Now we're back working on a pack fresh set of 1986 Sport Flicks. I managed to find two more booster boxes of this particular set. Um, to this point, we have recorded 18 <coughs> episodes and have found 103 out of the 200 base cards, so we get 97 to go. Uh, if you've been following this series, we've had some, or we have seen very poor distribution from box to box. Fortunately, these are inexpensive cards. Um, I, I spent less than five bucks per box on these. And I am going to continue moving forward, trying to, trying to complete this set. Um, we have opened a lot of packs. Um, but in any case, let's get this opened up, and we will be opening 12 booster packs in this video because of just the sheer number of duplicates we tend to see, and the fact that there's only three base cards per pack. And there's a Mike Scott on the, the top there. But in any case, let's get four from each stack out. Put this off to the side. There are our packs that we're going to open, and let's see what we find. See how many duplicates. See if we can start predicting what we're going to start to see in these uh, these packs. First card is a Jack Clark. Second card is a Pedro Guerrero. And we got two of these trivia cards. Might go back in a video and just go through some of those trivia cards. We have found 62 out of the 133 trivia cards. Those have been, those distribution have been just as bad. Um, Tri-Stars, Big Winners, Rick Sutcliffe, Tom Seaver, and John Denny. Card 134. I got a feeling that we're going to see some of these guys again. But we'll see. Chili Davis. And as we can see, there's Pedro Guerrero. Tri-Stars double award winners, Fernando Valenzuela, Rick Sutcliffe, and Tom Seaver. Pretty sure this is a card I haven't seen yet. Um, the time between filming episode 18 and 19 has been a couple weeks, so... Some of the cards are not as top of mind on what I do and don't have. So it might be into the second video before we know for sure. Uh, Dwight Evans. As I start getting used to uh, what I have and haven't seen yet. So Pedro Guerrero, that's the third one. So we're three for three on finding him. All right, we got big six active 300 hitters. In 1986, working our way back up, it's Hernandez at 301. This is a National League also, also, so National League 300 hitters. Hernandez at 301, Pete Rose at 304, Dave Parker at 304, Pedro Guerrero at 306, Bill Madlock at 309, and Tony Gwynn at 325. See if we're four for four again, Pedro Guerrero. Looks like a our second Jack Clark, which we can put with the other one. Al Oliver, 
Pretty sure this is the first time I've seen him in these openings. And the TriStar Big Winners. We saw this card just a little while ago. <clears throat> Next pack. Tony Fernandez. A pretty good player in the late 80s. Bob Stanley. Big Six, 1985 20 game winners. We got Tom Browning, Brett Saberhagen, uh, Andujar, John Tudor, Gidry, and Doc Gooden. Davis, Tony Gwynn, definitely haven't seen Tony Gwynn yet, TriStar, All-Star Game MVPs, Dave Concepcion, George Foster, and Bill Madlock. Second Bob Stanley. Tristar Veteran Pitchers, Seaver, Necro, and Sutton. Reggie Jackson, the Angels, so later in his career, there's another Bob Stanley, so we've gotten three of him in these openings, and this group of 12 packs, TriStar Rookie of the Year, Daryl Strawberry, Steve Sachs, and Pete Rose. There are definitely some new cards that we haven't seen before here. Um, probably on the order of 10 or 10-ish. Maybe a few more than that. We'll see for certain. There's another Tony Fernandez. William McGee. I know I haven't seen him yet in this op these openings. So if this ends up playing out like most of the uh, other openings first 18 to 20 packs we end up seeing 20-ish new cards and then we hit a lot of repeats um so there's another one of these 1985 20 game winners we'll see maybe we get a few more than just the and slightly different uh, distribution so Rod Carew. Hall of Famer, of course. And then another Tony Gwynn. Big Six. Outstanding feats by best players in 1985 highlights. We got Boggs, Gooden, Henderson, Mattingly, McGee, and Tudor. That's a new card. Uh, 
some other things I found with these sets is I did find, I think it's called the Rookies set for um, Sport Flicks. There's another Rod Carew, which I'll show in a separate video. It's one of those factory only sets, uh, Phil Necro. Which has a uh, you know, number of the rookies from the season. Um, I think like Barry Bonds is in it, maybe. It's 1986, that would make some sense. There's another repeat. So, that's to come with these sets as we're getting a little, uh, closer to having uh, um, the full set. Don't know how many more of these we're going to have to open. But, as always, opening packs is exciting and priceless and fun. Bill Buckner. It's another Tony Gwen. American League MVP is TriStar. Cal Ripken Jr., Don Baylor, and Reggie Jackson. I'm pretty sure this is also a first time we've seen that card. So in any case, there are the cards for this particular opening, these 12 packs. There will be future videos, as I am confident that uh, we'll have to open these two booster boxes, and ideally we're getting down to the home stretch of finding the, uh, the last few cards. Um, if you enjoyed watching this video, please leave a comment, leave a like. Those are appreciated. Uh, you can also uh, subscribe if you wish. That's also greatly appreciated. I will look forward to talking to y'all in a future video. Thanks for checking in, and bye now.